what is the importance of removing the stigma in mental health? I think it's really important to remove the stigma because it's something that needs to be normalised and uh, we can't normalise it without removing the stigma mm. um, and it needs to be okay to just not be okay which I know sounds really cliche but um, I think without having these I wouldn't say difficult but uncomfortable conversations because nobody really wants to, to bear their, their feelings mm. um, without having those conversations it's never going to become normalised and then it's always going to be a taboo subject. One of the particular stigmas that needs to change is probably the worry about talking about anything, you know, like when people say, are you okay? You just say, yeah, I'm fine, even if you're not. And I think that that's probably one of the things that needs to change because just making it normal, as I said, to not, to not be okay will make it easier to talk about all kinds of subjects and there's, there's no shame in it. What do you do to support your wellbeing sort of inside and outside of the workplace? I focus mostly on passion of what my interests are and I'll try to promote that as much as possible within the business. So um, I'm currently working on a content within a KCM group of sharing people sharing their interests. So that could be mental well-being through meditation, um, sports, cooking, arts, music, all sorts of um, areas of interest and getting as many people involved in that to express that and also giving um, tips and hints for everyone else to participate in and even for them to take it up themselves. And then in terms of like outside of work, still passion. So it's a case of like expressing that as much as possible. It's like a outlet and an escapism in itself. Um, and I think that really helps. Yeah, so it was a case of someone struggling with like their workload um, and they didn't know how to get into the swing of things back in their work. So it was a case of me um, just having a one-to-one -one with them and yeah. saying that the importance is their well-being first and it's a case of being patient with yourself as well and not be too hard on yourself. Absolutely. Um, we and can all be our own worst enemies when it comes to that. <laughs> definitely that. Um, and it was also just going through the workload as well and just seeing where we can sort of alleviate certain aspects of it and then they can always come back to that and build up that um, confidence and support wherever possible. Yeah, I think that a case in group definitely stands out as an employer because of how much they do for their staff. So from personal experience, I mean, we on my team have wellbeing hours so that we can um, take some time for ourselves, take some time back and just focus on things that bring us joy and not necessarily, yeah. you know, have to worry about the hustle and bustle of everyday work life. We have virtual lunches. Um, I mean, we're remote anyway so it makes sense that we can um, all kind of get together and and just kind of have that check-in time I suppose mm -hmm. uh, even virtually and yeah I think it it's something that not many employers focus on as much as we do I definitely haven't seen it even you know when I talk to friends and stuff outside of work they say you have what and you're able to do what so I That's definitely true. think it's um, mm -hmm. it sets us apart yeah definitely that and most of us do work from home so we do mm -hmm. need that space away from the desk walking up making sure that you know we get active as much as possible and then um having that that free time to do what you want to do so you know go for walks i know a lot of us have dogs and yeah. want to go for those walks and you're out with nature as well which is brilliant for your mental health as well